Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys day three progression of the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. And boy, have I been addicted to this patch for some unknown reason because everybody really is not liking it. I'm just really addicted to Righteous Fire, so no problem for me. All right, so uh, before I get started, I want to show you guys what I kind of got or acquired. Then we're going to go jump into a tier 16 map. So... I farmed about five divines out of the league mechanic. Two of them were lucky drops. I got a pure chalupa breach stone uh, and a few other things. I ended up liquidating all of my currency to snipe and Aegis Aurora for three divines and 411 chaos. Literally all of my currency went there. Um, so because I got the Aegis Aurora, I immediately swapped my build from the prior template that you guys saw in the POB. So what that means was, is I dropped my purity of elements for Skitterbot, and then I got Tempest Shield. So I personally skipped the reduced effect of Shock as I don't enjoy that progression too much, but since I know Aegis is such a difficult item to farm for, I went ahead and put the reduced effect of Shock in the POB for players who cannot afford it. You could technically swap or swap with a, by just basically running Tempest Shield. So if you look at my tree now, I'll show you what I did. So essentially, <clears throat> for the Aegis swap, you're gonna take Arcane Guarding, then you're going to come down here and you're going to take Sanctuary. You could technically just take the Mastery, I think on one of the, like this one here for the block. But the thing is, you spend a few extra points to gain a ton of bonus Ellie res. So that's why I do this. Then you want Glancing Blows. And that quite literally puts you to 75, 74. To get 75 spell block, I think you need a, a 21 Tempest Shield. It's not a big deal. So what I dropped on the tree is I drop my uh, Warcry at this stage because I can face tank most stuff, so it's not as important to blow it up. I'm still running it right now, but this is basically what I dropped here was the pathing and the life. Now my life is a bit lower than I would like right now, and that's because uh, I had to spend an additional six points on something very inefficient. You should not do this. Uh, I basically opened up a cluster jewel just to get a reservation one. Now my POB does not have this because normally I would just anoint Charisma, but since we're so early into the league and I liquidated all my currency, I cannot get Charisma yet. So TLDR, anointing Charisma will quite literally save me six skill points. So Charisma is pretty much where my goal is right now. And those six skill points will just quite literally go back into uh, either A, life or B, damage. Probably life, like uh, real preparation would be really nice or potentially uh, maybe going back into Bloodless. <clears throat> okay. Uh, with that being said, um, I ended up getting a minimum Frenzy Ring, so I don't need to run Blood Rage anymore, so that's really nice. Um, I, I think you guys already saw my 6 link. I'm still trying to get the right influences. I spent literally, I mean, I'm almost level 95. I've been rolling all of my exotic currency on my gauntlets, and I cannot get Fire Multi or uh, Fire Exposure, so that's very irritating. But one day, one day we will get it. Uh, other than that, all my gear is pretty much the same. I do believe I, I acquired some more jewels, so I have like a Fire Multi Max Life Area Damage Jewel here. Uh, oh, and I set up my Brutal Restraint. Now, Brutal Restraint is very complicated for newer players. I'm going to give you a simple TLDR, and more info is on my website. You can buy a Brutal Restraint before before you buy it, copy it from, from uh, the trade search, and then put it into your... Um, your path of building with the seed. So for example, this is 1120. Then allocate this spot and you want to check Faith and Steel, Divine Judgment, Devotion, Sanctum of Thought, Holy Dominion, Light of Divinity, Divine Fervor, and this Endurance Charge Note. Those are all one pointers. Uh, and essentially, <clears throat> you're checking for a number of modifiers explained on my website. Personally, what I am after was Onslaught for faster mapping. This allows me to drop my Onslaught Flask in favor of something like a Quartz Flask. All right, with that being said, let's go blast some content. Oh yeah, I also have way too much dex now, so I can drop my Amulet. This is with no dex allocated on the tree either. So I got a tier 16 right here to show. We're going to go pop it in. Uh, I also got lucky and hit a 21 on my Righteous Fire with my, well, this is my third Vol, so that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of players have been asking me about my Atlas, like so many players, like too many people. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this. 
As a content creator and a guy who's putting out the Righteous Fire build, I know a lot of you guys want to copy my Atlas for my build. But the reality is, my Atlas is not necessarily based on my build, but more based on what I want to do in Path of Exile. So I do not mind sharing my Atlas with you guys, but... I don't want to pick either of those, but I just want you guys to understand that it's not designed for Righteous Fire, and it's not designed for currency. It's simply designed around the content that I want to farm. And we'll talk about that after, assuming I remember. Because I am block based now, I have favored Harbinger over here. Um, I know Harbinger is kind of like a meme right now, but I like Harbi a lot. So Harbinger works well with block because it poops out a bunch of mobs. A bunch of mobs hit you and block is very good against a bunch of mobs at the same time. So here you get to see an example of the single target. Now remember, if I had my goddamn uh, exposure, my single target would be much better. But, you know, no exposure yet, so unlucky. So people were asking about tooltip in the previous video. We'll go over two forms of tooltip. Number one, while mapping. So that's going to include Frenzy Charges. So while mapping, uh, I have 466k on my Fire Trap. And on my RF at the moment, we have 317k. Actually, that's... Never mind, that was with no Frenzy. So that's actually my hideout damage. Because I just have the one minimum Frenzy. Also, if I am progressing a little bit too fast for people, I don't remember if I said this previously, you can always go look at my VODs on Twitch, they're public. Meaning, you know, if you're stuck in progression, you can quite literally just have it boot up on the second monitor and just kind of play along, right? Ooh, Diviners. Alright, that's a map. That is pretty much about it. So I'm going to go pull up the Atlas real fast. So, I have decided to drop Harvest as it just does not feel worth it. Now, I still run Harvests because I want to acquire the Life Force for when I craft. But I don't really see a reason to specialize in it. It just doesn't really feel very worth it at this stage. So, I'm currently leaving Harvest alone. As you can see with where my Atlas is right now, I am favoring Breach. Uh, I am trying to make money via selling Breach Stones. So you can see I'm pretty much literally full Breach. Um, I'm farming. <clears throat> I'm basically like, since I'm mapping a lot, I have stuff in Eater at the moment. I still have points into Intelligence Gathering. This is solely for Katarina. Uh, I have the Strongbox nodes here for backup cash. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I take it just because... I don't like trading and it helps build up my currency. I really should get Vaults of Mysteries for the double div. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the Atlas right now. I don't really know if, like, if I had to recommend my Atlas to other players, I would say don't take the Harbinger nodes. And instead of the Harbinger, probably don't take Breach unless you have good damage. You guys are still in the early tier of maps. Come up and grab, like, Shaping the Seas and Shaping the Valleys. I also want to, like swing all the way over here and start taking beyond um i feel like i'm tanky enough to warrant doing beyond so beyond's just in general one of my favorite mechanics so i may at some point go over here and snipe some beyond anyway that's pretty much about it so hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed progress update number three uh just again to confirm tooltip we've got 317k on rf and uh 300 and oops and uh, 466k on our on our fire trap
Anyway, that's about it. So take care. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox. But this Monday is an exception because of the POE release. So we'll be live today as well. Have a good one, everybody.